Hey guys, this is AKA7 Minimouse again, and today I'm going to be showing you the BlackBerry OS 2.0 beta and uh, successfully running Android Launcher on it. Now, the tutorial for the Android Launcher will be in the description. Uh, this video is not for a tutorial because it is a very long process. Now, I'm just going to be showing you briefly what the launcher looks like. So, this is OS 2.0 beta, so it's right here. Now, right here it says Honeycomb Launcher. And that's it, you got Android on the playbook. Now, it runs perfectly, you can run the market. And this is the Android market on the playbook. Now, let's just say... I want to download a game. Alright, so I'll just show you what Air Penguin. Let's see if that works. Except. And it's downloading on the playbook. Now. Getting Android on the playbook took a very long time because it is pretty complicated. Uh, it will not work sometimes and your BlackBerry may not accept it. But the main thing is to just download beta 2.0 first. That's probably the longest process. And I do have a video tutorial of that. So first go to that and then come back at this video. So it's almost done. And you could even run the Android in the background and you could use Blackberry OS uh, while Android is running in the background. So that's pretty neat. So I can go back. It's installing. And it's done. Now all I have to do, I could go back. And this this is pretty much honeycomb. So as you can see, it looks like it too. So you could go to apps, and there's air pe uh, penguin. Go to that. Now I'm running an Android app on a BlackBerry Playbook. As you can see, I can just it works perfectly. Sound. Giving you directions. All right, so that's pretty much it. So, what I recommend first is go to my previous video and it will show you how to put this software. This isn't the normal 1.8 software for the playbook. As you can see, this is 2.0, OS version 2.0. So this is the main thing, 2.0, you have to have it. So first download the 2.0 in my previous video and come back to this one, go into the description and I will show you how to put HCL updater via the description. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.